friends, welcome back to Bell's Library. I'm Heather and today I've got a few audiobook recommendations for you guys. I have actually done a video of these before. It was about six months ago or so and I will put it up top and down below for you guys if you want to check out some of those. But since then I have read some incredible audiobooks and I just really want to share them with you and let you know because you should check them out. So I have five recommendations for you guys today, but before we jump into them, please get down below, click subscribe, click the thumbs up. If you want to check out my Instagram, Instagram, Instagram or Goodreads, they will also be linked down below for you guys. So you can go follow me on those ones. I would love to be friends with you all over the place. And we'll go ahead and start into the five audiobooks that I have for you guys. And the first one we are going to talk about is The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I have learned that I love books with podcast elements in audiobook form. Or if there's some kind of, I guess, interviewee element or something like that, so good in audiobook form. So The Night Swim has a podcast within it. So you have chapters in which you're following the main character, and then you have her podcast that she does and she does a true crime podcast and this time around she is following this rape case and basically she's gonna sit in on the trial and then she's going to do a podcast on it and she's trying to be objective and see both sides and show things and then outside of that she's also kind of investigating and seeing you know if she can get interviews with other people and uh, it's just so well done with the audiobook. I loved it. I loved listening to the podcast and some of the interviews she does and um, the true crime element. And I thought the whole book was just really well done and I really enjoyed it. Um, if you also want to just kind of get an insight into kind of how some of the justice system works with some of this and how unfair it can be to people and how people can feel and think in a whole town and how they can act towards people and just there's so many moving elements with a case like this in which you know how much can you actually prove isn't consent and is and if there's nobody else around it's kind of a he said she said kind of a thing but like at the same time it's just an awful thing to ever be like oh well we can't you know take you seriously because who knows what actually happened. I don't know. It just, yeah, it was very, very well done book as well as audiobook. And while we are on the subject of books with podcasts in them, let's just talk about Sadie by Courtney Summers. Incredible audiobook. I absolutely adore this. In this one, we are kind of following two different perspectives. One is Sadie as she sets out from her home and she's going to go find who killed her sister. She's pretty sure she knows who's done it. And we're kind of following her journey as she goes and finds them. And then she's been missing for a while. She didn't tell anybody where she was going. And so we also are following Wes, is it Wes? West McRae. And he has a podcast and he usually is like, missing girls go missing all the time. There's nothing super like interesting about this. So he didn't really want to investigate more into it and do it as a part of his podcast until he learns a little bit more about the fact that um, Sadie's sister a year earlier had been killed and then now Sadie's missing. And he's like, well, maybe this is a little more intriguing than I thought. So he's trying to investigate, figure out what happened to Sadie and we're following him as he's talking to a bunch of different people and following the clues, but then also um, you have his podcast as well. So you're listening to his podcast as he's trying to figure it out too. So you kind of have both elements going on and they intersect in different ways and you get to see that. It's just, it's really interesting. Um, kind of mystery more, I think. Like, I feel like you're just trying to put the clues together and trying to figure out what happened here. And I loved this book when I finished it. I was like, I feel like this could really happen, which to me, if a book feels like that, it just makes it so much more impactful. I was just like, oh my gosh, this, this could be a thing. Like the way she ended it was just so, so realistic. It like packed the biggest punch ever. Um, but audiobook, amazing. From there, we'll talk about another mystery that I read that I really enjoyed the podcast, the podcast, 
not the podcast. This one does not have a podcast. That I really enjoyed the audiobook too, and that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I feel like this one was really well done in the audiobook as well. We are following Pippa, and for her senior project, she is going to investigate a murder that happened, like, I don't know, it's probably been like five years or something, I want to say. So Pippa doesn't believe that the person that got blamed for allegedly murdering this girl was the one that actually did it. And so she is kind of setting out to investigate and see what else she can figure out and if the police missed anything and what's, what more is going on. And the reason I really enjoyed this in audiobook form was that it also follows her and the interviews that she does are all by different people. So it has like a full cast. Um, and so you're listening to her interview all these different people and they each have their own voice and it's very interesting. And then you'll like hear some text messages back and forth between some of these people and they're um, it just, it makes it feel more real and alive, and I thought it was so well done, and she kind of takes it, and then at the end of, like, each of the chapters, she'll be like, and these are my suspects now, and it's, like, this whole fun mystery type thing that we're trying to put together, and, you know, it's just, I thought it was really well done. Very interesting book, really enjoyed it, so you might check that one out as well. So moving out of the kind of more mystery, true crime type stuff, uh, we've got The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. So anything by Elizabeth Acevedo is awesome on audiobook. Um, she writes a lot of her novels in verse, and she does all the audiobooks herself as well, and she does a great job with it. This was such a beautiful and impactful book, and the audiobook was just wonderful to, I don't know, just envelop yourself into it. Um, we're following... I always get the name it's uh i always want to say it's amoni but she's in the other elizabeth acevedo book uh with fire on high so in this one we have zio mara and she likes to write poetry and one of her teachers at school invites her to a slam poetry club and she really wants to try it out she's nervous about it but poetry is such a big part of her but her mom is like, no, I don't like this poetry thing. I want you to get more involved with the church and do this and that. And she's just like, that's not me. Um, I want this. And they they struggle in their relationship quite a bit. And so you're kind of following a mom and daughter relationship that needs a little help. And also Zio Mara, she's just trying to figure herself out and have her own identity, find her own voice. Sorry, I have a little munchkin home for the summer, and she's a little loud. <laughs> and the fifth and final book, but definitely not the least favorite, that I'm going to talk about is Sleeping Giants by Sylvan Newell. I loved the audiobook for this one, too. What a concept, since this is an audiobook at recommendations video. But this was incredible it is told completely in a bunch of interviews with a bunch of people we have the same interviewer um but he is going around there's i want to say there's like five different people he interviews or something in here each of them have their own voice super entertaining and interesting and i flew through the thing and loved consuming it through the audiobook it was amazing so in this one we are following Dr. I always want to call her Dr. Rose, Dr. Franklin. So we're following Dr. Franklin and when she's a kid, she like falls into this hole and she can't totally remember everything, but um, many years later, she's got her PhD and she ends up working on the project in which she is working on what she fell into. And she fell into a huge mechanical hand. And so she's trying to find the other pieces that connect to this hand so they can make like a whole person is what they're thinking. And she's also trying to figure out what it's made out of and how it works. And so they're finding these pieces and putting it together. So we also have the pilot and the co-pilot that are flying around, finding these pieces around the world. And we have um, the interviewer, which we don't find out very much information about, but he is very mysterious and uh, very connected in high places. So there's definitely some political pieces into this. And you're kind of questioning whether they should be even unearthing all of this stuff. And because uh, this big giant like could really do a lot of harm in the wrong hands. Um, and then where did it come from and why is it here on earth? And it just, it was so intriguing and I just loved it. And the audiobook was phenomenal. 
there it is. Five audiobooks for you guys that were super wonderful. We'll run through them one last time here. We've got, so we've got Sadie, The Poet X, and Sleeping Giants, and then also The Night Swim, and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. There it is. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys have some other recommendations for books that were really awesome on audiobook, I would love to hear from you guys. Happy reading, everybody. Bye!